Hi everybody, Joseph Oaken here, and I'm going to tell you about the last day of Philadelphia Comic Con that I attended, June 2nd, on a Saturday, and I got in line basically at 8.30 in the morning, and I was standing in one line or another until basically 6 o'clock at night. So it wasn't as exciting as in, as in seeing things as last time, as Friday and Thursday was, but what I did was very exciting. So, the first thing I did was I got in line for Shatner's autograph. It's the whole reason why I was there. I know, I'm a geek. The whole reason why I went there was to meet Shatner. But while I was in line, I was snapping some pictures. The first picture is of Avery Brooks. Now, when I did finally get into Avery Brooks' line, I got to talk to him for a little bit, 10 seconds. He seemed a little odd. Nice guy, but just a little off. Like he was like, so it was like, cool, baby, it's no problem. And I asked him, do you mind if I take your picture while you are signing? And he looked at me and he goes, actually, I do. But he didn't seem to say it in a jerk way or, you know, anything like that. He just said it kind of cool, kind of relaxed. But I was able to snap pictures of him just sitting there and this one of him signing other things for other people. So when I asked him, well, did you enjoy Star Trek? He said, well, let me tell you this. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. And I'm guessing that's meaning that he had a better perspective of it afterwards. He enjoyed it more after he was finished with it and he missed it afterwards. I'm guessing while he was doing it, it was a job. It was something to do. But after the fact, it was he really started to miss it. Now, right in the beginning, Everybody, all the four captains, or five captains, came out at the same time. And Scott Bakula from Enterprise, Avery Brooks is from Deep Space Nine, Deep Space Nine from Captain Benjamin Sisko. Scott Bakula is from Enterprise. Scott Bakula is the one in the center. Avery Brooks is the one sitting next to him. Bakula was going back and forth talking to just about everybody, which was kind of cool. So, he was going back and forth, and he spent a lot of time by Avery Brooks in the beginning. So, I snapped a couple of pictures of him with Avery Brooks. Now, at this time, one of the guys watching the line comes over and says, Look, if you're going to be taking pictures, you're not supposed to be using flashes. He wasn't talking to me, he was talking to the guy in front of me who had a full-blown camera. I was just using my cell phone camera. The second thing is, if you're going to be taking pictures... Don't be doing it when I can watch you because they're not supposed to be taking them at all. Turns around and walks it off. So it was nice of him to tell us, don't take pictures, at least when I'm watching, so I don't have to yell at you. Kind of like a backhand approval. Well, as you can see, I was snapping pictures of everybody, and this was Bakula and Avery Brooks. And I'm going to get to Shatner in a minute, but I'm going to save him as my coup de grace. I was in line for Scott Bakula, and I snapped this picture of him. And then when I finally got up to snap Scott Bakula, I said, you know, do you mind if I take your picture while you sign? He says, no, not at all. Go right ahead. Well, I forgot to. I was talking with him. I was helping set up this big poster board I had that he signed. So I said, oh, I forgot to take the picture. He said, that's okay. We can reset it up and I'll fake it. So this picture is him actually just pretending to sign my picture of him in uh, the Enterprise cast. A lot of fun. He was laughing at it. It was good fun. Now, the next captain I got after him or was Kate Mulgrew from Voyager. Um, while I was waiting for Scott Bakula, I was able to snap this picture of her. And she's doing pretty good. You know, she's gaining a little bit of weight, but she's doing pretty good. She was very funny. I asked her if I could take a picture, and she said, yeah, you can take pictures while I'm signing. So when she was signing my captain's poster, I missed it. And she was looking at me as I was taking this picture. Kind of looks like she's saying, you missed it. What are you doing? And then as she signed my Voyager poster, I got another picture of her actually signing. Very funny. I told her, you know, I really didn't like your character in the beginning. But, it, you know, after a couple of seasons, she goes, it grew on you, didn't it? I said, yeah, it did. She said, yeah, I, I'm like that. I get under people's skin. Then her handler walks in and says, Kate, I need you right now. She's like, see, he needs me. Well, before all of this happened, I was in line for Shatner. 
Now, when I got up to Bill Shatner, they said, I said, can I take a picture while you're signing? He said, no, I'm sorry, I'd rather if you didn't. I said, okay, you know, you can respect that for them, especially when they ask. So, I snapped the picture beforehand. Now, when we got there and I signed in as a VIP, as a platinum VIP, <laughs> they, uh, we got a special picture with Shatner and Nimoy, Kirk and Spock from the original series, both signed it. I knew I was getting the picture. I thought it was just coming with Nimoy's signature. So I bought an extra signature to have Kirk sign it as well, Shatner. Well, I didn't need it. So I decided it would be cool to have Shatner sign my VIP pass. An idea that I got from several people, including a friend of mine, Steve, who got me into going to com conventions in general. Now, while we were waiting for all these lines, Stan Lee, the basically acknowledged father of Marvel, came over and started talking to Patrick Stewart. And I couldn't resist. I had to snap a picture. I had to snap two pictures. So, I thought that was pretty cool. This one came out much better because of no glare on Stanley's glasses. But it was really nice. They were talking for a good couple minutes. It was nice to see that. The whole point of me going to this particular convention was to complete my captain's poster of Star Trek. I now have signatures on all five captains. Very excited to have this finally completed. Now, some of you may have seen my post on Facebook, the last line, this picture will look familiar. This was the last line I had to wait on until I actually had my picture with Shatner taken. Then I had to wait on a shoulder line just to get my actual picture. But it wasn't really a line, it was just a bunch of people milling around until the pictures got printed out. Well, finally, I had my 10 seconds, not even, probably closer to 5 seconds with Shatner. Me and Shatner. He was nice. He was polite. When I walked up to him for his autograph, he said, Hey, thanks for coming out. It's a pleasure to meet you. I walked in there for the picture. He's like, Hey, no, nice to see you again. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for coming out for the picture. It was nice of him. All in all, I literally spent from 8.30 in the morning until 10 to 6 at night standing around in lines. That was all fine because I'm sitting there talking to one in front of me, talking to one behind me, and this line, and that line, the next line. I had more than a few people stop and ask to look at my posters, so it was really cool. Now, the only picture that I took that didn't have to do with something I was directly doing was this. I thought this was a very well done Vader costume. The snow trooper from uh, Empire Strikes Back behind him. I thought this was very well done. I enjoyed Star Wars immensely. And his suit, the panel was blinking, his voice, the breath was coming in through the respirator. It was very well done. So, in conclusion, overall, I had a great time. Great convention, fantastic. A lot of uh, things to look at, you know, a lot of people walking around in costume, a lot of people just walking around in, in general, looking a little weird. They didn't have to look in their costume. Um, but on top of all of that, there are a lot of vendors there, people exhibiting their own artwork, which is great. People who are copying Marvel, trying to branch into it, trying to get into Marvel. Uh, or DC, it was awesome. Uh, several, several celebrities, most of them I didn't really care to meet. But it was really cool, a lot of exhibits. And I had a blast. So, I know you guys don't really care, but this is Oak's opinion of the Philadelphia Comic Con. Day 3.